What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Matt Chat Live. I'm happy to have my friend Arban here with me today. I got the name right. I was trying to make sure I got it right so people knew how to say it. Welcome to the show today. I'm glad you're here with us. Thank you so much for having me. Excited to be here. Yeah, man. Well, tell everybody you know, where you're at and, uh, and tell us a little bit about who you are, what your business is. Absolutely. So um, uh, you said where, where I'm uh, from. You know, I'm in, I'm in Spain right now, uh, 100 kilometers outside of Barcelona around there, you know, and uh, what I do is um, I have an advertising agency called RF Media. And uh, what we do is uh, we help uh, businesses grow with online advertising. Awesome. So how do you do that? You're in Spain. So, I mean, obviously, this is a digital world we're living in right now. And everybody does stuff online, which is even better for, for a business like you in Spain, helping folks that are in uh, America, Canada, UK, Australia, I mean, wherever, right? So uh, what it, what is it that you really press into? What's your what's your expertise? Absolutely. So, so expertise is uh, specifically Facebook advertising. That's that's what we do for our clients. Awesome. So what do you do with Facebook advertising? Uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll tell you. You know, the clients that kind of answers the question. We have e-commerce uh, clients. We have lead generation. We have info products. Uh, you know, B two C. So we, all types of uh, of businesses we're helping. Yeah, yeah. So you're able to help folks that are, um, you know, wanting to scale, do stuff with their business, but um, they haven't really either tried to do Facebook advertising or Google ads for that matter. And um, it hasn't worked for them or they've tried it and they really stink <laughs> and they just haven't been able to figure out how to make it work. Right. But you've uh, you've been able to crack the code, as it were, and you guys have a system and a plan of, of how to uh, to really effectively reach people uh, for others with their brand and products. Right. Correct. 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 You know, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's great. So, so I don't mind what, what is, um, I mean, what made you want to go that direction? I mean, you're in Spain, beautiful place. Barcelona's gorgeous. You got beaches around you and everything. And then, you know, when you're a kid, you're like, Hey, one day I want to grow up. And when I grow up, I want to be an online marketing guy. Right. <laughs> you probably did say that. I mean, so, I mean, how did you get plugged into where you're at now? Right. Absolutely. <laughs> great question. Um, <laughs> And uh, I like the tone, you know, depending on the tone, when I grow up, I like when, you know, if you say it with a good tone, sounds good. If you say it with a bad tone, it sounds horrible. Right? It sounds so, bad. Thank God it's not an email. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, so depending on how you say it, you know, I started with, um, you know, uh, running ads for me, like I had a, like an online store and I, you know, just out of necessity for my own store. Uh, that's how I, you know, started running ads for myself around 2016 and then 2019. I had the chance to work for uh, Grant Cardone and Frank Kern's advertising agency. You know, that's where I got a lot of the insights and ran, you know, with uh, a lot of, uh, you know, US based businesses mostly, but then also, you know, across the world. And uh, yeah, and then, and then from there, you know, got a lot of expertise and then started my own advertising agency. Yeah, not bad to, uh, to kind of start off with Grant Cardone and, and go from there, right? I mean, he does, I mean, he does a little bit of advertising online last I checked. Right. So <laughs> only a little bit. Yeah. Just a couple of cents. <laughs> yeah. Just a couple of cents is right. So that must've been an amazing experience. What, what's, um, what's some of the top things or the one thing that, that you really took from that experience with uh, working with him and his team and, and getting that stuff out? That's a great question. I think uh, um, I, if I had to tell you the biggest, uh, it, it would probably have to be, you know, you know, when I was like working for, for them, you know, I would say, you know, um, the the brand, you know, like if you think about it like this, um, you know, so much of the business came from the personal brand. Right. So, you know, millions and millions and millions were generated constantly, you know, every year because of the big brand that uh, he had built and Frank Kern as well. You know, so. You know, it was it was like an incredible, you know, seeing it, it's, you know, because there are a lot of other people that, you know, um, maybe have one or two employees, but, you know, he had like 50, 60 people, you know, in office and stuff like that. So it's 
it was totally eye, eye revealing, you know, and inspiring. Yeah, no doubt. And he, he definitely has a, a, a big team. He likes to put people around him that do things that he can't do. And for sure, he built the brand, right? He's, he's definitely got it out there. It's a great brand, but um, what a great opportunity to be a part of something like that, because I mean, he's so focused on, on, on internet marketing, um, you know, working through social media and uh, of course, Facebook uh, and whatnot. Now, something that folks maybe don't understand as much or, or deal with is, is Google ads. I mean, a lot of times you sign up for Google and they send you these little coupons for a hundred dollars, free Google AdWords. Right. And okay. What's that? Who knows? Right. So um, I know you've worked with Google ads as well. Um, besides Facebook, well, what's the, what's the benefit for somebody doing a Google ad ad word campaign? And, you know, just like, can you spend a hundred bucks and it be worth it? Or does it have to be like lots and lots of money to make a, make a dent? I mean, what's, what's the big deal? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Depends back on your business. You know, what type of business are we talking about? If you want, you, you can bring an, an, an example and talk specifically, um, but uh, you know, depends on your business, you know, a hundred dollars could, you know, get you started, maybe get a, you know, some sort of leads, uh, or, you know, if you're selling something quite, quite expensive, probably not, you know, so it depends. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about this material here that you've made available for folks, which is amazing. We'll talk about that in a second here, but you said, give me an idea. So let's say that somebody is a, um, let's say they're say a, a, a financial consultant, right? They're doing financial consulting work. Uh, and they are trying to find some new clients to, uh, to financially consult with. Uh, and they need to get the word out about who they are and what they do. Uh, it's a big industry, lots of people out there. So if it's a financial consultant, what would be some of the things you would think about for uh, a Google ad placement? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, if you are starting out, you know, um, the most important things is to focus on uh, very specific keywords, you know, and, and and make sure that you know uh, you, you are targeting in, you know buyer intent right so not only you know if, again if we if it's a financial planner uh you know there might be people looking for you know um you know financial tips or stuff like that right but if they're looking for a financial planner near me you know or you know best financial planner in town you know you know they're really on a different phase of the action you want to target people who are at the bottom of the funnel are ready to act, you know, at first to get, you know, the most amount of your dollar. Then, you know, then as you, uh, as you progress and, you know, you have more budget, you can, you can walk people through the funnel, you know, have some articles to run ads to, and then, you know, get them to videos and then, you know, get them to call you or, or send a lead info. Yeah. So that's great. So keywords are, are really the front door when it comes down to something like Google, because that's stuff that people type in and uh, really zeroing in. Let's say um, you're a financial consultant in a particular town. You're focused on where you live. Not everybody has a global uh, global response or global uh, action point. Right. Some people are more focused on their their town or their region instead of finding somebody in Spain, for example, and they live in I don't know, Wisconsin, right? So it's just not the same thing. Um, but that's where those keywords come into play uh, very well. And you also brought up something else, which is called funnels, right? And and uh, it's not just a kitchen utensil that you 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 know put your water in and goes into a smaller thing, right? A funnel is uh, is really something we use in, in marketing. And uh, a lot of folks know what that is. And there's some other folks that really don't know what a funnel is. Um, I've I've run into a lot of folks that don't know, and that's fine. I mean, there's a lot of things out there that we're learning. So mm -hmm. when it comes down to a funnel, um, that's really, uh, do you do funnels or do you just, uh, you work with people that already have funnels? Good question. So uh, you, we don't do funnels, you know, we work with people who do funnels and we make sure that, you know, it's a, it's a vital part of the, of, of the you know, online business to, to have yes. the right funnel, you know? So no, for no, instance, I, I was just yeah. speaking with somebody that owns a funnel company and it was uh it was really good conversation we had. So, so knowing if somebody has that material, which is important material to have, because a website and a funnel are not the same thing. And right. uh, most people that go to a website, uh, some websites can be built with a funnel intent, uh, but not necessarily a funnel. So a funnel is basically a place, let's say, where, um, where Aman has a place that they come to for on Facebook, 
and they click on an image or a video or something that says, hey, look, I'm a financial consultant in Wisconsin and I can tell you how to make a million dollars, right? Okay, horrible ad, but let's just say that's what the ad is. And if you do that, I'd like to give you a free free ebook on how you can scale your finances in your business by following these simple three steps, right? So they click on this thing and it goes to a place that's called a lead magnet, a landing page, a place where somebody lands from the place they were just at coming to the place and they find this free item. And when they find this free item, they also get a chance to sign up for uh, somebody's mailing list to say, look, you put your email in here and then click this button, you get a download, right? So now they're on the mailing list as well. Okay, so that's a little bit about a funnel, but a funnel may also be, hey, look, by the way, since you're here, not only do we have this book that we're gonna give you for free, but did you know that we can do this, this, this for you? And if you click here, we'll give you this. But instead of it being this price, it's this price today. And they go to that thing. And then there may be another step they go to. There may be some steps. We've all been through those, but that's what a funnel is, kind of big at the top and kind of brings you down to where it's supposed to be at the final thing, which is here you are, the, the big Taj Mahal of what we're here to talk about and the million dollar program that we want you to be in, right? All right, so, but for your case, in your sense of what you do as far as marketing, you're doing your best to find the right people. Correct. That, that, that even go to this lead magnet landing page in the first place. Correct. Yeah, so what are some things that a client should do, or is this what this talks about? We'll bring up here in a second, um, mm -hmm. that need to do to really help them to, to really get some clarity around things that people need to be turned on by to even go to their, their lead magnet in the first place. And you've offered this, uh, this free tool for people to uh, download for free. Um, and I think, is it available at your main website as a link or do we have to give them the, the, the one link that you have? Yeah, we will have to give them the link, but it's uh, rfmedia.com slash ebook. They also can get it from there. Yeah. Okay, good. So while, while you tell them a little bit about this, I'm going to make sure that I have that up here for people to see. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what, yeah. this, what this offers? So, so yeah, you know, like uh, everything that Matt talked about uh, right now in the, in the, it's, it's what's going to happen when you guys line on the, on the page to get the ebook, you know, we're, we're, it's, you're going to get to a landing page. We're going to collect your email. We're going to send you valuable tips. You're going to get the ebook. And at the same time, there's also, uh, you know, more, more to it. You, you, you'll see once you get there, but uh here, you know, the ebook's purpose, you know, if you scroll down a little bit, um, you know, it's a step-by-step -step process on, you know, how to make uh, better ads, you know. So, for example, you go to step number one, talks about targeting, you know, who should you target based on what you're offering, you know. So, uh, let's go back to the financial planner example again. You would want uh, maybe families, maybe an individual that... Uh, probably, you know, has a certain network, you know? So so how do you target these people? Do, you know, are they in certain job positions that, you know, you you know, are more likely to be, you know, your ideal audience? Are they are they on a top of uh, household income in, in the States, for example, which is something you can target as well, you know? So ask yourself those questions, make a persona, and then use that information to fit it into, for example, Facebook ads to uh, to move forward. Awesome. Step two. Step two. There you go. I love it. Let's go step by step. This is perfect. So, yeah. um, you know, uh, step two is basically uh, the right offer. You know, so so uh, the right offer, you know, could um, could um, be an amazing thing that, you know, can generate results uh, or it could be the thing that kills your ads. You know, if you have a boring offer or something not appealing, it could be, you know, it could uh, it could, uh, it could really damage damage you right so how do you how do you create a good offer you know that's it you know that's a uh, that's probably the easiest way to answer that is model what kind the competition is doing so i leave uh i think i leave a tool that is like the facebook library and if not i'm telling you here that you can go ahead and check your competition see what they're doing what what type of offers are they running you know so model that may try to make it better but, you know, that way you already, you know, are not starting from zero. You're, you know, you did some research and you have something that's working for others. You know, you can go yeah, from there. It's working for other people and save you the time of putting out the wrong stuff and then try to modify it to don't copy and paste, y'all. But, you know, find out what's working and make and put your spin on it. Right. 
Correct, correct, correct. And and you know this is you know this is when I put there. This is a good resource. You know you can check your CTR. Your CTR is basically the metric for you to understand if you're running good ads or not. You know so for example, if your CTR is low, click through rate. That means click through rate. If you if your CTR is low, that means that you know either the copy or the image, uh, or uh, the copy or the image or the targeting are not ideal, and you can improve that, right? If the CTR is good and you're still not selling, you know, then maybe it's a landing page thing. And then we can go to the next point, which is, you know, how to optimize, you know, some tips to optimize the landing page and improve your conversion rate. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. That's good stuff. And that link's really great, which is inside this free PDF people can get when they click on that. So a um, couple of things here. Has it... A has it ever happened to you that you're scrolling through social media, kind of like we're doing with your phone, and you see an ad with one super quick glance, you decided you're already not interested and you keep scrolling, the ad was boring. We just kind of talked about that a little bit, right? With a one to 10 of a second, one tenth of a second, you're already off to the next piece of content. We all do it. Well, you ever think that could be your ad, Horror Nights? Was <laughs> bum, 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 bum. There we are. <laughs> so, uh, a couple of tips, right? You said uh, make them social. Are you entertaining? Can can you make it entertaining? Is it informative? Can you make it super informative and valuable? Can you make it irresistible? Is Matt Crump on your pe packaging? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> can you make yourself, which goes to the next point. Oh, by the way, speaking speaking of irresistible, I tell you what, I've got something that's irresistible. Bam! Right there. <laughs> that is. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, who's the man? Ottoman. That's I, what I'm talking about. I think I think we need to make a, a video course. Uh, Matt is gonna, guys. Matt is gonna read the whole ebook for you. We're gonna charge uh, a lot of money because you know you're gonna learn way more with him, and it's gonna make it entertaining. <laughs> We're gonna He's gonna make fun. you apply it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. But y'all can get this ebook. It's really cool. But let's let's fast forward. Oh look, there's a funnel image to be sure. So yeah, uh, step yeah. three. Talking about that funnel we just brought up a second ago. Tell us a little bit about uh, about step three. Yeah, step yeah. three. You know, are some basically uh, proven um, things you can do to optimize your your site to convert more. Maybe you have an e-commerce store and you want more to get more sales. You know, maybe you want to get more leads with the same amount of money. Well, this is what you do. It's called uh, conversion rate optimization. There's a lot of tools and things you can do, but you know some you know some of the simple things you can do is you know record what the users are doing on your site, have a live chat button, ask why people are leaving, get them you know get them to at least opt in for an email before they leave. You know, so there are those are some some of the things you can do, and uh, you know there are more that uh, that are mentioned you know on on the on the site on the ebook. Yeah, well, that's good. Uh, that's what you said. Here's how to get more sales. You've got uh, a few steps for them to look through. Use tools like Hotjar and Smart Look. Is that the place you're talking about to uh, kind of examine what's going on with? Correct. Yeah, Hotjar basically asks you. You know, you, you know, you can record, do heat maps on your site. By the way, Matt, we gotta get this on yours. You know, uh, it creates heat maps. You know, to see where people are clicking. You know, people are going to MattCrump.tv. You know, what are they looking for the most? You know, you could know that if you install Hotjar. Uh, maybe people are, you know, getting lost on the, let's say, on the podcast uh, booking or something like that. You're going to be able to find out because you'll see a lot of people living on a certain section of the page mm -hmm. once you start recording. And, you know, this is all information to get you to help you make more sales or get more leads. No, that is powerful, especially, you know, somebody scrolling a quarter of the way through and they go to another page. It's just that they were bored by that time. Right. So we got to find out what's what's really going to grab somebody's attention, uh, especially when it comes down to home page is one of one of the top <laughs> engaged pages for most people. Um, uh, and of Absolutely. course, it really depends on what kind of links you put out there on social media, too. But all right. Oh, man, here's a big one. I love I'm a big branding guy. Step number four. Tell us about that. Yeah, I think I think you know um, I think it's like the secret ingredient, you know, that uh, it's 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 all good. And when you you know run conversion ads, cold conversion ads, you know, to get the sale, to get the purchase. But for long term, you know, success, you know, it's important to brand yourself, you know, in your space, in your industry. Keep keep showing on on the on your clients' faces, you know, like Matt Matt is doing. Uh, so, so, uh, what you do is, you know, why don't you spend, uh, you know, $5 a day on, you know, on, on some branding ads, get people to consume your videos, get people to consume, 
you know, something special that you're doing and get them engaged. So then you can retarget them with a specific offer. But, you know, getting all this, that engagement that you have, you know, and we're talking about Frank Hurd on Frank Hurd, you know, having those audiences of people that are engaged is, is, is way more powerful than a fo follower count, you know, because these people are constantly watching your content and they're more likely to, you know, to act on whatever you tell them to. Uh, than you know than like uh, just a follower. Yeah. a follower. Oh, I That's agree. I um you know I do not have a super high uh, follower rate necessarily on my social media because I really don't pursue uh, gaining numbers in followers. But what I pursue is is engagement, and I'm I'm highly engaged. So I might take my you know twenty some thousand or whatever it's at followers. And I might actually have more engagement than somebody with 1 million followers. Hmm. It just really comes down to how you're doing stuff and engagement is where it makes all the difference. You have a million people and only, you know, 500 are showing up regularly to see what you got on your site because you're kind of a deadhead or not speaking much. And it doesn't really matter, right? So, right. so important. the brand is, makes a big difference and, and the value of the brand, what you're trying to offer to people. I mean, Grant Cardone's no different than anybody else that's a real estate investor. And now he's kind of shifted from some things in real estate to, to, and because he's a salesman to showing how you do sales, right? So now he's turned that whole thing into a whole coaching platform and created something different where he's actually branded and making some, some cash, right? For somebody like, bam, Armin to come by and say, I can help you out with some marketing. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you weren't ready for this one today, buddy. You gave me a picture. Now you're in trouble. Seriously, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sending you any pictures anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, then of course uh, that was your last step in the in the book. But by the way, there's a lot of things right. here for folks to click on and see through. But we wanted folks to have a chance to see uh, what all that was. And thanks for offering that today. Again, um, just to make sure we have that, I'll pop it up here one more time. Bam! This is where folks right can get that free ebook. So yeah. if you go to, to rfmedia.com backslash ebook. You can download that for free, and it's a fantastic tool for folks that are trying to learn, uh, trying to get some things figured out, or you want to reach this guy right here next to me who can definitely help you out with uh, with the next steps once you get some things done. He can help you with some of the first steps before you get to the next step, really, to determine if you're ready to go on Facebook advertising, because to spend a lot of money and have everything done wrong is really just you know feeding people at Facebook. <laughs> That's what it does. It gives right. money for a couple more dollars in his bank account. but. Uh, Right, wow, that's correct. amazing. So, so what do you think uh, as we're getting ready to, to wind down here for some folks that are watching that are interested in 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 marketing themselves and and trying to make sure they spend the right money and doing the right things? Um, if you could tell somebody the three most important things they have to have before they spend a dollar anywhere, what do you think those three things are for for somebody? Absolutely. I, I think um, I think that's an amazing question. I think uh, you have to make sure, number one, that you have uh, a good offer, you know, a good offer uh, with a bad ad execution. It's still a good offer. People still are going to buy. But, uh, uh, you know, a great ad with a bad offer, it's not going to work. You know, so having a great offer is probably the first step of, of everything, you know, for, you know, for Matt, you know, he has you know, many, many services and just you know researching you know researching the competition and adding some extra things that is the you know that is a great offer you can do that's number one number two is you know making sure that you have you know your site optimized you know um with the things that we said before you know conversion rate optimization um you know meaning you know like um for example having an exit intent pop-up that shows you know having a, a, some sort of, if you're in e-commerce, like a live chat where people can ask questions, you can answer the concerns, you know, uh, FAQ section, you know, m many things that you can do there. Uh, those, those were, you know, those were be, you know, the, the things you can do. And, you know, feel free to Google, you know, for each industry, it's a bit different uh, of the things you can do. So that's, uh, we said one, two, and then number three, um, I, I would say the following, um, have um, a follow-up sequence, okay? so. Again, I, you know, maybe I opt in as an email, as a lead, but I don't buy, you know, uh, you know, we're doing this for our clients. We're creating like five to seven day email sequences to make sure we follow up and, and make sure we, you know, we cap, you know, we convert them, you know, like a, a lot of sales pros will tell you money is in the follow up and 
it's it's like the same like in real life as it's online you know if you don't follow up you know you're not gonna you know you're gonna not gonna get what you have so that's uh, what you want so you know there are free email marketing tools out there you can get you know for example one is um actually i mean you can use anyone like active campaign a mailchimp but you know all, all these are f famous uh companies you can use to follow up with your prospects till they buy you know provide them some you know, uh, resources or some FAQs, some things to, to buy. So if you have those three things, you know, then your ads are going to be way better. No, it's so true. And uh, to follow up, so keen, uh, here's a great example. So let's say I come to you, I say, Armand, um, I have an incredible offer for you that's going to change your life. Are you interested? Yes. <laughs> and nothing happens. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens. So you have to follow up. It's important. Is it work? Yes, it is. There's a lot of work involved with follow up. But um, if it's worth sharing, it's worth paying a price for. And the price is a lot of time, a lot of effort to clearly get your, your product in front of people so they can understand what you're trying to provide that it can help make their lives better. Right. So if you really are passionate about that, then it's worth doing what it takes to make things like that happen. And sometimes that requires like uh, somebody like Grant Cardone, for example, who surrounds himself. He will not shy away from this at all. There's things he's not good at, things he cannot do, but he has the best person in the world that can do it for him. And uh, that's where it comes into a place like a guy like this. That's right. Arvan. <laughs> so, but if you're really interested in finding a place that uh, somebody can help you when it comes down to Facebook advertising and Google advertising and uh, to know that somebody has worked with somebody like Grant Cardone, for example, um, and you don't have to be a big Grant Cardone fan to understand that his work works. And, and if that's the case, what does it take to do that kind of stuff? Well, you know, this guy right over here can tell you. So you got to reach out to him. And that's at arevmedia.com, arevmedia.com. And then, of course, uh, the one thing he made an offer for everybody here was to get that ebook that he shared earlier with those simple steps on how to really um, engage with and scale some of your marketing ideas. Uh, just really coming down to some clarity for yourself to understand what it really means to do that. Um, and in some places, you just ask somebody else for the help. You get it, but you're like, that's fantastic. I just don't have time for that. Can somebody else do it? And that's really where, where he comes in to shine and can make a big difference for you. So, wow. Well, thank you. I know that you're in Spain. I'm in North Carolina. And the time that we did this show together, it's 1.45 in the afternoon here for me. What time is it there for you? 7.43. 7.43. So not too bad. You're still close to bedtime. Last time we talked, it was like, it was like midnight or something like that. It was late the last time we talked, but yeah, you're used to it because a lot of folks that you work with are are over in different time zones, right? Not a lot. All of them. Yeah. All so them. That, what that means is that you're available. It doesn't matter what time zone somebody's in. You're going to be available to that person and make it work where, where you guys can chat and have a conversation. And um, the, it really comes down to support after the sale. So let's say somebody does just go ahead and pull the trigger and buys your services. You're going to be there for them. Um, every step of the way, right? 100%. You know, I, I was saying this the other day, you know, uh, the client, you know, the initial client still st st is still with us. You know, the initial client we got still with us. Uh, we're thankful for that. And we strive to, you know, keep, you know, keep them get, getting them results, which is all that matters. Oh, yeah, that's great. Especially when your original still sticks around. It's fantastic. Hopefully that grandfathered in on that, uh, on that original price point you had. because You've probably gone up a couple of dollars since then. But uh, that's another, <laughs> that's story. another story. Well, I thank you so much for being with us here today. Again, Automan, it's been fantastic. It's been some great information for a lot of folks, especially those that have just been kind of wondering about what it looks like. What is this marketing thing? How do you do Facebook and Google a little bit? I mean, we could go really deep. It would blow your mind. There's a lot of things in there, algorithms and, and the way things Facebook's looking for and like your landing page needs to look like your ad. If it doesn't line up with each other, they don't give you a chance to go. They might block the site. I mean, there's lots of things to be considered that you have to make the ad just right or or Facebook won't let you do it. And it's, uh, it's crazy. So there's a lot of things to understand and it's great when somebody else gets it. <laughs> you just give them the money to make sure it happens. So uh, thanks for being that kind of a guy. I've enjoyed getting a chance to know you. We've talked to, uh, quite a few times here already. And uh, and you're also uh, besides your website, you are on LinkedIn too. 
Correct, correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With my name, Armand Hananian. Yeah, you guys can find me. And also RF Media is there. Yeah, that's great. So he's reachable there for most folks that watch me. We're on LinkedIn together, but um, I, this is being on Facebook as well and over there on old YouTube land. So um, either way, you can find him at that at that location. So, wow, thanks a lot for the information you've been able to share with folks today. And some of that stuff that uh, is really can be impactful for people to take and scale up a little bit in their knowledge and understanding what to do with their marketing and how to uh, how to really apply those things so that their big brand, their business, their heart, their passion can make a difference in the world. And you're helping people to do that. And thank you for all the things you do. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you know, this is the funniest interview I've done. And also, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, uh, it's my goal, you know, it's my goal to uh, help these people, you know, like, uh, you know, in all of our businesses, I'm trying to implement some side of charity, which I know is important to you, Matt. Uh, you know, it's also important to me, you know, so if we work to the, together, I'm going to inspire whoever works with me to have some sort of charity, you know, whether it's feeding hungry kids or planting trees, you know, that's one of the priorities we also have here. Yeah. And thanks for mentioning that again. A lot of folks that follow me know that, um, that I have a nonprofit organization and we've got, um, several orphanages under our care and most of the money that I get goes that direction. And to know that you could work with somebody who is passionate about making sure that a percentage of that money goes to a charity, like he cuts off some of his profit and actually sends that money out to a charity. Uh, not a lot of companies that are out there doing that. And that's a huge, huge value about um, who you are as a person and uh, what your business stands for. So thank you for doing that and for offering that for others. I think it's a fantastic opportunity, folks. So not only will you be doing stuff that helps you and helps this company, but you're also going to be sending some money to uh, nonprofit organizations around the world that can make a difference in people's lives. And that's a big deal. So thanks for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Thanks again, folks. And we appreciate you for being here for another episode of Matt Chat Live, where it's business, people, connected. Mm -hmm.